do you guys like my shirt? Let me know down in the comment section. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Shantae Sway here today. And today I'm going to be talking to you guys about a comment that was put on one of my previous videos. I always look at my comments to see what you guys are wanting to know about and what you guys are wanting to see. Someone's comment stood out to me the most and this comment read, what should she do about slow hair growth and why is she even experiencing that? So I wanted to do a video telling you guys more about that topic. So I don't think I've ever experienced slow hair growth, but I have experienced stunted hair growth, which is probably even worse. They kind of go together. They kind of go hand in hand with each other, but slow hair growth can be very annoying because that is where you have to continuously wait and wait and wait and wait. And no matter what you're doing, you're just not seeing growth. So I wanted to get to the deeper issues of why that could be in this video. So if you'd like to see more on that, then stay tuned. So the first thing that I wanted to touch on is um, hair breakage. So if your hair is full of split ends or if you have a lot of issues with your hair breaking very easily. You could be one of those people who wear a lot of ponytails or one of those people who are um, sleep sleeping on cotton pillowcases so your hair is kind of breaking as you sleep. Um, there's a lot of causes for hair breakage but that can be a reason why your hair is not growing as quickly because you could be secretly experiencing hair breakage. And like I said, you can be um, sleeping on a cotton pillowcase and that could be causing your hair to break. Or you could be wearing tight ponytails and wearing the um, ponytail holders that have like the metal piece in the middle that is actually pulling your hair. I used to wear those all the time. Um, before going natural and finding out more about, you know, a healthier way to put my hair into ponytails, I would wear the ones that had the metal piece. I don't even know why they why they make those, but there are ponytail holders that has like metal pieces in the middle. And when you wrap your hair in that metal piece, it basically takes out your hair. So when you take out that ponytail holder, there's a lot of hair that has been pulled out. And that's just caused from either having your ponytail too tight or just wearing the wrong hair ties. So I highly recommend that you get these silk hair ties. I don't have them with me right now, but I actually have some silk hair ties where they don't pull out your hair as much because they don't have the, the type of grip to do that. And um, you don't have to worry about your hair pulling. And also sleeping on a silk pillowcase is definitely going to help with um, your hair during the nighttime to stop it from pulling because cotton kind of like grabs onto your hair at night or you can put on a silk bonnet um, but I know for me I don't like to wear that um, I don't live with my boyfriend but if I'm like with my boyfriend I don't want to wear that in front of him so I told my boyfriend to actually get silk pillowcases at his house so he has them at his house the next thing I wanted to touch on is poor scalp maintenance and what i mean by that is what i talk about on my channel all the time you guys always hear me say that i do oil scalp massages that i'm always doing something to my scalp <laughs> and i use my growth oil to do those types of treatments that's because your scalp health is super important and it's what leads to actual hair growth if your scalp um, pores are um, clogged if you're not cleaning your scalp and if you are having just bad maintenance on your scalp most of the most likely you're not going to be experiencing hair growth now i would like to point out the fact that not doing anything to your hair and kind of just letting your hair breathe is not what i call poor scalp health what i call poor scalp health is not cleaning your scalp and not maintaining the health of your scalp so i have personal experience with this i used to um, co-wash my hair and when i would co-wash my hair I was one of those naturals that was like no shampoos ever, never, ever in this lifetime. And my hair took a really big hit. My hair was starting to look very limp and it wasn't until I talked to another fellow natural who told me that she actually had to stop co-washing her hair and she had been co-washing for years. But then um, when she actually went back to cleansing her scalp, I took her, invi her advice and I actually have a video on my channel called why I don't co-wash as much anymore or something like that. Um, where I actually was able to, you know, find out more about that. And when I did, it was a game changer. My hair was like, thank you shampoo and my hair health went back up. There's nothing wrong with co-washing. I still co-wash, but to do it 
for the entire time and never add in a shampoo, that's not going to benefit your scalp. So make sure that you're cleansing your scalp. Every now and then you do need a really good cleanse on your scalp. I actually have a shampoo on my website that I recommend. It's called the Pink Honeysuckle Shampoo and it is a cleanser. So it actually cleanses your hair and it gets, it really gets down in your scalp. If you don't want to use a cleanser, you can use a moisturizing shampoo as well. But just keep in mind every now and then you always need to clean your scalp so that you can get the buildup of products off your scalp and just to let you guys know if you're not familiar and you're just coming here and you don't know much about um, product buildup product buildup basically comes from heavy products or putting um, continuous products on your hair without doing any type of scalp maintenance or cleaning your hair another thing that can lead to stunted hair growth and completely slow down your hair growth is definitely bleaching and i'm gonna say it i know people are gonna be like oh that's not true but coloring your hair coloring and bleaching your hair is a chemical reaction it's chemistry it's a chemical reaction it cannot be undone so once you do that to your hair you are basically saying that you're okay with your entire hair structure changing and that can sometimes result in your hair um, not being as healthy as it was before you did that actual chemical change. I'm not saying that everyone who has um, done color change on their hair or that has bleached their hair has unhealthy hair. I'm just saying that that could be a cause of stunted hair growth. I also want to point out that there are certain hair treatments that can do more harm to your hair than good. So if you're doing a hair treatment, make sure that you are looking at the ingredients. If you go to a salon that does a hair treatment, make sure that you talk to your stylist about what actually is in that treatment because a lot of times when you do treatments that are too intense for your hair that don't work well for your hair that is formulated only to do certain things but doesn't really keep hair health at the forefront you can definitely walk into a situation to where you just got an entire treatment that counteracts all of what you wanted for your hair so there are some salons who charge a very high amount to get treatments done to your hair but those treatments can become overwhelming to your hair especially if you get them done um, continuously if you're not knowing exactly what that treatment is about also wanted to point out the fact that hair styling excessive hair styling you want to keep your hair done you want to make sure that your hair looks nice but a lot of times you can do that by doing simple styles or by you know leaving your hair alone and not really pulling on it as much because that can also result in your hair being slow with growth so you guys know that i'm not going to do this video without touching on the fact that your diet has a lot to do with your hair growth so if you have stunted hair growth or if you have hair growth that is so slow you may want to look at your lifestyle now this will be your entire lifestyle you guys know that when I talk about health I actually talk about holistic health because that's what I personally have been trained in and that's how I look at health so your lifestyle is what I'm going to focus on so if you have a very stressful lifestyle if you work in I'm gonna even mention this if you work in a high stress environment or an environment that has a lot of chemicals in that environment I know someone who used to work in a environment that had a lot of chemicals around and she suffered from hair loss from always going into that building and always having chemicals around her even though the chemicals weren't actually touching her she's her hair still suffered from the actual chemicals that were around her and she also suffers from migraines um from actually being around that for years upon years but she ended up telling me that story and i never knew that that was a thing but it is if you are around a stressful environment or if you have stressed yourself that can stop your hair growth and that can take a number on your hair as well as well as not having a healthy diet if you have a more healthy diet um, versus someone who doesn't have that good of a diet your hair is more likely to grow healthy <laughs> healthy hair growth versus someone who doesn't have a healthy lifestyle and doesn't have um, you know a healthy diet their hair growth they can grow their hair but it may be slower and 
I'm sorry, long hair does not equal health, so they may not have the healthiest hair even if their hair is long. So keep that in mind that your diet and your lifestyle has a lot to do with the way your um, body acts in general because your inner health always reflects on the outside eventually. Speaking of health, there are some medications that can actually cause hair loss. Um, a lot of people don't pay attention to the side effects of medications, but they actually will tell you on the medication if there are certain side effects that are detrimental to your hair or um, are a cause of hair loss, they'll actually tell you on the product. So make sure that you read that or research your medication to see if that could be a factor. That was my video on a few of the things that I wanted to point out that will be a major cause of hair loss. Um, I'm going to do a updated hair growth wash routine because I do have some steps that you can do on your wash day that can actually help with your hair growth. So I'm definitely 100% going to do that video. Um, please don't allow me to forget, but I'm definitely 100% am going to do that video and I'm gonna to try to keep that in mind. Okay guys, so if you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section. If you have anything to add to this video, leave it down in the comment section so that people who are just coming to this channel can have a lot to look through in the comment section from advice to conversations that you guys have in the comment section is always very helpful to everyone so thank you guys so much for watching this video see you guys in my next one bye